uh, the fact uh, that there continues to be a lot of investment in the tourism sector, many new developments coming in and trying to, well, cover a niche for themselves. To speak into this, we have with us at our I&M City Center studios, uh, Mr. Husnain Nurani. He is the uh, group managing director at the Pride in Group Karibu Sana. Now, it is interesting that uh, the Pride in Group itself, uh, despite the fact, of course, that you have been an investor in this country for many years, one of the recent, uh, especially large and modern uh, developers at the coast in Nairobi and other areas, why are you investing at this particular time? Okay. Um, uh, uh, one, of our, one of our recent investments has yes. been in Mombasa at the Pride in Paradise Beach Resort. Um, and this is something that we had invested in 2014. Um, at that point in time, I think uh, Mombasa was, very, was not very well known for investments. And in fact, everyone wanted to exit out of Mombasa. And, at the, and as at that time, we realized that there was a huge potential. Whenever we looked at Mombasa, the one, there's one question that I always used to ask myself, that why hasn't Mombasa concentrated on my tourism? And that's how we went ahead to invest in, uh, in Mombasa and built a 300-room beach resort with a, with a convention center of 2,500 uh, people, uh, all spanning over 16 acres with uh, four, pools, uh, four pools, three restaurants, three bars, which uh, as much as we were initially slightly worried, but I was very confident that the mice tourism will definitely pick up. And I think it has been fruitful. And just the other day, I'm happy to announce that uh, we've also acquired the Flamingo Beach Resort, which is a uh, 138-room beach resort uh, spanning over 22 acres. Um, over the past four months, we have been running it on, uh, under management. And recently, we concluded, we concluded the deal. And that's our second investment in Mombasa. Uh, that only shows the hopes and the trust that we have in the government and in the president and in his, and in his, admi and in, and in his administration for Mombasa. But apart from that, we also have other investments happening in Nairobi. And uh, we, are still having, we still have some huge aggressive vision um, within, within the country itself. Talk a bit about the aspect of diversification, uh, Mr. Hosnain. The fact that uh, traditionally it was a bush and a beach affair where tourists would come uh, to the coast, go to the beaches, then go to the Masai Mara or some place like that. Today there's much more to that experience, especially the fact uh, that uh, your organization seems to have a heavy focus on the meetings, incentives, and associated uh, sector. And uh, conferencing is a big business for you. Um, actually, yes, uh, it's, always been, uh, it's always been beach and bush, uh, yes. traditionally. Uh, we saw a huge opportunity in the mice business. Uh, and I still believe, and I, um, I have huge hopes. In fact, recently we were at the IBTM, at the Incentive uh, Business Travel Market in, uh, in Spain, Barcelona. And there is a huge scope for the mice business. And this is what we are trying to incorporate at our Pride in Paradise Beach Resort and Spa is a concept which is known as pleasure. Mm -hmm. uh, pleasure with a B and not with a P. Uh, this is what we mean by saying is uh, business and leisure combined. Yes. Um, we all know how tourism, we all know how people uh, within the corporate world are becoming busier and busier by the day. And we don't generally have time for families. Uh, you could be in early morning meetings, late night dinner parties, cocktails. And this is when the whole idea of uh, combining business with leisure, and that's the reason why at the Pride in Paradise Beach Resort and Spa, we decided that uh, we are going to put a safari-themed aqua park. So whenever there is, along with the convention center, such that uh, we encourage the people, all, all our business, all our businessmen and women who come in for business, they could actually yes. bring in their spouses and families together. So whilst the families are enjoying at the aqua park and enjoying the facilities of the hotel, mm -hmm. business could go on as usual. Yes. And generally, after business, you could still get along with the family and have some quality time with them. Mm -hmm. So it serves best of both. Yes. Uh, talk to us about the fact that uh, tourism organizations here in Kenya are starting in a big way to look inwards. Uh, before, it used to be the fact that uh, we would look across the oceans, across uh, the seas uh, for major clients. That's uh, creating the high and low season and that sort of fluctuations. But today, the local tourist is a big aspect of the sector and the business itself. What are you doing in order to tap and reach out to that market? Um, actually, um, at the moment, apart from, we all know that uh, beach has always been considered as uh, one of the biggest uh, places for holiday. 
And uh, we have uh, our major focus within our brand has always been within the business market and uh, focusing on the business industry. Uh, it is in Mombasa that we diverted slightly towards the leisure industry. Mm -hmm. um, as it now, our major plans are uh, more focused towards uh, venturing into more like city hotels uh, within yes. the various counties. Um, our, um, our actual our short term vision is 10 hotels over the next three years. We are mm -hmm. looking at uh, opportunities in various different counties. Example, like uh, we're looking at Kisumu, we are looking at uh, Eldoret, we are looking at Meru. Uh, we're also looking at uh, Lodwar. Uh, those yes. are some of the few counties that we are actually venturing into. Uh, Woi also. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. within, the, within, the, within, the, within our expansion, what we're actually looking at is as much as we're focusing on the business hotels, but how can we combine the elements of leisure aspects? Mm -hmm. uh, so if, for example, if we go to Woi, um, we'll be looking at how can we, play, how can we position our hotel Yes. very close to the parks uh, or, or, or very close to the gates of the parks so that uh, yes. that way you could still come for business but still have an element of, of, of leisure within it. Mm -hmm. Well, finally, uh, let's talk about uh, the operating environment, the fact that uh, we have been in the middle of an election uh, for quite some time now, but uh, with the swearing of the president, we are now looking towards the next five years of trying to get business back on track. If there was one thing that you would say that we need to get right in the short term and over the next five years. What would that be? First, I must congratulate the president and his government. Uh, I think the SGR, the Madraka, has, the Madraka Express has been a, a very beautiful investment. It mm -hmm. has been a big blessing to Mombasa and to the country in general. Uh, yes. This has really made uh, logistics and transportation to and from Mombasa to Nairobi uh, much, much easier. Mm -hmm. And um, I think this is one of the biggest achievements that have been seen over the past, uh, over been that, that have been seen. And we encourage that uh, investments towards transport and logistics to be continued going forward. Mm -hmm. um, as at now, I think uh, our, our tourism board, the KTB, is doing a fantastic work uh, in terms of Tembea Kenya. They have this campaign, Tembea Kenya, where they are, they are really trying to market uh, various uh, various locations across the country. Yes. Um, although I do see that uh, at the moment, what, 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 what the immediate short term, uh, the short term push points yes. should be in terms of uh, how can we create more awareness for the different, uh, for the different counties, for the different parks. Um, like the other day I was at Rusinga Island, which was, uh, you know, at Lake Victoria, which was beautiful. And uh, it's just that we need to create a bit more awareness um, of, those sort of, of those sort of things. Uh, yes. But for now, for the short term, I think December has, uh, in terms of uh, business in Mombasa, has, uh, is, is looking very good. Um, our occupancies at the moment are showing already at 70 to 80 percent, which is uh, very, very good. Mm -hmm. um, and tourism has been very resilient uh, this year. So, uh, and especially we want to thank the local, uh, you know, our local people who have been very supportive in terms of local tourism. Uh, they have been supporting uh, Mombasa throughout, and in yes. fact, not only Mombasa, but also the various hotels that we have. Yes. And uh, at the moment, I think one of the biggest things is trying to see how the government can immediately work with maybe Kenya Railways to try and see how can we have, uh, mm -hmm. in the short term, maybe for December, how can we have more schedules going into yes. Mombasa and back? Yes. But also, apart from that, uh, trying to see how, the, how they can have communication okay. with the airline operators mm -hmm. uh, to try and increase frequencies. Uh, just yesterday, I was asking about, uh, you know, we were trying to find out if there's any availabilities on... Uh, on the Madraka Express for December. And the whole of December for Madraka Express on both the morning and the afternoon schedules are fully booked. Yes. So I'm still imagining that we still have a lot of inquiries that are coming through, but people are finding it challenging to access transportation and flight fares are showing already. Flights are also very fully booked. Uh -huh. um, so I think um, in the short term, trying to see how we can counter that by, yes. uh, by creating more accessibility, yes. maybe perhaps more schedules. Yes. Um, and also trying to encourage for those people who are in Mombasa, yes. trying to see how we can uh, encourage more of the tourism coming towards Nairobi and uh, the other counties. Okay. You know, if Nairobi can go and invade Mombasa, why can't Mombasa come and invade Nairobi? Um, we have some fantastic offers uh, that are lined up for uh, the festive season in Nairobi, yes. which encourage people in Mombasa uh, okay, to come indeed, over to uh, Nairobi. Yes. So thank you very much, uh, sir, for your time. That, of course, is Husnain Nuran. He is the Group Managing Director at the Pride in Group, a man with years of experience in driving the tourism industry. And, of course, pointing to the fact that with devolution, the group itself is now starting to look towards the counties for more business. On